here. Today is December the 15th, 2022. Yeah, we are right there at Christmas. And this video is going to be something on a little bit different of what I normally do. Because today what I'm going to be doing is showing comparisons. And what I've got in all these boxes are from different manufacturers. They sent me their beginner kits, uh, beehives. And I had contacted some of them to see if they would be interested in, in making, if I'd make a video on that. And, and I had uh, four different companies sent me uh, companies. We had um, the uh, Galena Farm sent me some, uh, Vivo sent me some, and Premier Bees sent me stuff. So it's all, it's all hot bodies. And actually there's two of them that are beginner's kits. And what I'm gonna do, what I hope to do is kind of give a comparison of what's out there um, and then if you to show some of the variations in hives and options in hives and of course the prices of it by the grace of God <laughs> I might do a pretty good job on this and you might want to it might show you some things about some some different manufacture of, of, of beehives and give you an idea and maybe help you in making a decision because in the last four weeks I probably had five or six uh, phone calls asking me about beginner beehives and there's a lot of people coming in next year being new year with bees and a lot of people have interest in it and to put your bees somewhere you have to put them in a hive now I'm focusing on the Langstroth that's that's what um, those are the ones I use but that's not the only type of hive but for the purpose of this video it's just going to be Langstroth hives. It's not the top bar or any other type of hive that that hive box that you can imagine. But for me on this one, we're just doing the Langstroth. So I'm gonna bring all this stuff in and I'll unbox this, all the boxes, and show you what you get in these kits. Let's get inside and start this video. Huh? Now I'm not I'm not gonna show like an unboxing. I just want to show the box that the package comes the, the the hive comes in and what you can expect to see in it so let's go ahead and start Now here are all the components from the Vivor hive. Start with the foundation. Uh, you have the mediums, the deep foundations. These are our deep boxes, and we're running this. There are two deep supers here, and two shallow supers here. All the frame components, the tops, the sides, the bottoms, they're all right there, enough to do 40 frames. Inner cover. The inner cover. No, I'm sorry. This is the telescoping cover right here with a, a metal lid on it. A solid bottom board with a reducer right there. An inner cover and a queen excluder. So these are all the components that you get in the hive kit, the hive beginner kit that from Vivo. There you go. And I'll talk about the individual components of the construction and material, all this, after I get all these things built. All right. Now the next one I'm going to unbox, open up, is from Busy Bee, and this is sold by Galen Farms. And this one is Amish made. Let's see how they do. Now I know on this one, we don't have a beginner kit. And so you're not going to have so many 
um, parts, and, and I just saw that this one is actually already assembled. All right, let's see what they got. Oh, and not only like that, it's painted too. So this one is a painted one. So we have 10 honey supers and 10 deep supers. And a deep and a medium box. All right, so that's from the Amish Busy Bees. Our next one is Hoover Hives, and this also is sold by Galen Farms. And this one is a beginner's kit, so I'm pretty sure it's got all the parts necessary um, for the two deep supers and a medium, and all the other parts to hive. Well, that thing is really heavy, <laughs> so there's a box in a box. Alright, let's see what's here. Begin with, we have our telescope and cover. Oh, and the first thing that you're going to notice, it's not painted, this is wax coated. And it's 100% beeswax coated. Really nice. So, telescope and cover, our inner cover. So look at that, huh? Well, I'll show you that. Oh, right, that's a nice little detail. That bottom board, solid. And then in the rest, we have our frames, a hive reducer, another hive reducer, our plastic foundations, and these are wax coated as well. They also send nails to assemble it with, and there's a queen excluder in there as well. All right, let me move this box and we'll open up this box. Foundations. Oh, uh, this is this is the part for the busy bee. So on the busy bee one, I had a single deep super, and I had a honey super. And now this is the rest of the, of the kit in there. Your inner cover, a piece of plastic that slides in underneath our screen bottom board. This is just to do mic checks and beetle stuff. That just goes right in there. And then the other parts of the hive, uh, a telescope and cover, and the rest of the parts of the hive. These, these parts are for the busy bee hive, the Amish one, and these are for the Hoover bee. Good. All right, let's put this on the side and then we'll open up the last one. And here are our high components from Premier Bee Products. I'm imagine this is already assembled, but I don't know. All right, so we have some sides. Frame. Assembled. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Mr. Red. Uh. Oh, wow, they sent me bunches of parts, huh? So we have a painted box, 
and two unpainted boxes. All right, let me put all this stuff together and what I, what I wanna do now is I'm gonna take a break right now and I'm gonna assemble all of these hive pieces that, that you've got. And then once I've got everybody assembled, then I will go ahead and I'll talk individually about it and different aspects of, of the hives. As far as how a box is constructed, the joinery of the box, the, um, the way it's put together. There's a number of ways of doing that. There are a number of ways of doing that. And as a woodworker, I can appreciate certain joints as opposed to other certain joints uh, because there's more strength to them, there's more surface area for glue, there's different reasons why we prefer one joint over the other. And on these three boxes that we have, there's different joinery methods. And for the Vivor box and for the Hoover box, they use a full dovetail joint. Now what is a dovetail joint? Let me show you. This is what a dovetail joint looks like on the side. And this is the other side. It looks like this, and it's tapered, cut the other way. And what happens is that you can only put the, that's what's really nice about this type of joint, you can only put it together one way. And to put it together, you have to put it the right way, <laughs> the joint has to slide into the other joint. You can't push it in this way. It has to slide in from the top. So this dub, dovetail joint, very, very, very strong joint, there's um, more glue surface on it, more wood surface so that it can hold stronger and, and the joint itself will hold the box together. And that's just one type of joint, the, the, the dovetail joint. And let me show you what it looks like when you put it on, on the box. And this is what the joint looks like when it's attached. You see, there's this area right here. It's rectangular shaped on one side of it. And then on the other side, it's diamond shaped. And so this pattern locks the wood into each other. And again, there's more surface area. It's a stronger joint, a much stronger joint. Now. Our next sample of joinery is from the Busy Bee. For their joinery, use a finger joint where the pieces, the sides, just go into each other. And this method of, of joinery, it's good. It is good. Um, but what I don't like about it is that there's so much exposure of end grain. And end grain is where the moisture, where moisture can, through capillary action, can be absorbed into your box. And so typically that's why you'll get corner rot, because this is where the water is absorbed in the end grain of the wood. I'll grab the camera and I'll show you what it looks like when it's assembled. So just like the dovetail joint, on one side you have a rectangular shape, a finger, when you rotate the box, other than the, the top part where you have that notch out, it's also rectangular. So it's the same. So there's nothing wrong with this joint, nothing wrong at all, other than, in my opinion, the amount of area right here that you can have capillary action to get moisture absorbed into your box. Now let's look at the third one which is the premier hive. You will notice that on the front of the hive, you don't see any end grain showing on that, none whatsoever. And you, there's staples inside of it. The other ones are, are screwed or nailed, but this one is stapled. But if you look on the side of their box, look at this you have a dovetail joint. So let me show you what this looks like. And here's what the 
joinery looks like. And what this kind of joint is called is a half blind dovetail. And the reason they call it half blind is because unlike the dovetail joints of the Hoover Hive and the Vivor Hive, the joint doesn't go all the way through. Now remember I said on these we have more glue surface area on these, but on this, on these, we have even more glue surface area on these. And what's really, really great on these is because the um, end grain is covered at this part, you only have this part of it exposed. So you have very, very little end grain exposed and you have an extremely, extremely strong, strong joint. So those are the three different types of joinery that are used on these particular boxes. And is one better than the other? In my opinion, yes. But do the bees care? No, the bees don't care. They, don't, they just want a nice box to live in. But if, if you're particular about your joinery, well, you, can have, you have options to choose when you select a, a beehive that you want to do. So I've still got a couple more of these hive bodies to assemble and still lots of frames to put together. So I'm going to get back to that and when I finish that, then I'll put everything together and show you what the, what the hives look like once they're finished. And here are our assembled beginner kit bee boxes. And I, I always, because I'm the woodworking guy, I, I like to assemble. You can, you can get at least these two hives, the, the Hoover and the Busy Bee, you can, you can purchase those options uh, as fully assembled. The Vivor hive is not uh, fully assembled. You have to assemble at least the, the hive bodies and the frames, you have to assemble that. But as a woodworker, I don't mind putting together um, <laughs> the pieces to my bee boxes. And plus, I mean, you can really make it like a family thing and, you know, have the kids, the wife, everybody join in and build, build, help build the bee box. Now, one thing that, that I noticed initially with, with the busy bee box, which is the Amish made one, now that one, it, it, I did get the box assembled because it, it had the option of being painted. And if it's painted, it's going to be assembled. But one thing I do like about the, this particular box is that when they assemble it, they don't use nails, they use screws. And, and I always think a screw is way better than a nail, but that's just me. And so the boxes are all assembled with screws. Everything is assembled with screws. The telescope and cover and even, I believe even the, the bottom board was built like that way as well. So let me show you what you get when you, when you purchase the Busy Bee, and that, that's from Galena Farms. And in the box, they had a couple of goodies in there. They had a 10% a off coupon in there, as well as a, a bottle of the Tight Bond glue. This, is, this great glue is really great because it's water resistant and it cleans up with water as well. So it's a great glue to, uh, to use to put it, if you build it, to put in your joints and then on your frames as well. So that came, came with this one. So let me first show you what the inner cover, the telescope and cover, I'm sorry. And it's really, really well constructed um, box. You got your joinery up in here, just a box joint, a shiplap joint on that. But it's all solid wood. Uh, this is just a piece of plywood right here. And then your metal covering. Really nice, very nice. The inner cover will be the next one. Another well built piece of a beehive. Again, they employ the, the that, like a shiplap joint right there to make their corners and not just a butt joint. And then you can see right there, it's all screwed and, and glued, I'm sure. And they use a nice piece of, of Luon right here with the center in that. And then as you go through the boxes, um, the Honey Super right here, again, 
you can see that's not nailed, it's screwed in there. And they employ the finger joint construction on these boxes. The frames you do have to assemble. I, I would say when I was assembling these frames, the same manufacturer must have um, produced all these frames because all the frames were similar uh, in, in the way they looked. Uh, this one right here is a pretty nice one actually. But I want to show you some of the difference that I have found in, in it between some of them. Now for the foundation for all of the frames on, on the Busy Bee, they use Celtech foundation, which is um, it's pretty good. It's not, it's not a bad one. And it does come coated with beeswax, which is really nice. It's a good, good feature to have. Because I've found in my experience, if there's not a wax coating on the, on the foundation, the bees aren't going to draw it out. So they use Celtech foundation on their frames and also included in the kit you get your queen excluder and then in your both of your brew supers there they all have the frames which you have to build and again they're using the Celtec foundation and all this stuff is coated as well. That's, that's a really important feature right there, that they're using wax-covered foundation on that. And then, finally, let me show you the screen bottom board. This is, this is a really nice little board. They use, because there's options, you can get uh, solid bottom or screen bottom and this one there's that little piece of plastic that you can drop in there to close it close the weather from coming in uh, and then you can also check to see if you got in mites in there that fall down in there and high beetles and, and that kind of stuff so really nice screen bottom board on this one so how much you're gonna pay for the busy bee beginners kit now that one when you you can you can buy it assembled or unassembled and painted or unpainted. Uh, I don't have the price for the, the painted version of it, but if it's unassembled it's two hundred and fifteen dollars and if it's assembled it is two hundred and seventy nine dollars. Um, there's there's they also sell all kinds of options um, with the supers and just parts for the hive. So, but for a beginner's kit, um, this one would be $215 unassembled and unpainted. Now the next box that we're going to take a look at is sold by Vivor. Uh, I don't know who the manufacturer is on this box, but it's sold by Vivor and that's an Amazon sold product. Um, and what, you just go to Amazon and you're going to find Vivor. It's spelled B-E-V-O-R. And they sell several different uh, configurations of the hives, but the one that I chose for this demonstration consisted of the two deep boxes and the two mediums or honey super boxes as well. So that was the kit that I chose to use on this one. And the first thing I would note is that the construction, what the box, the hive bodies are built of, and that is cedar. Well, I did forget to mention on the Busy Bee boxes, they're made out of eastern white pine. On, on this box, like I said, it's built out of cedar. And cedar is a really, really great wood for bees. I don't know why bees like it. They like cedar. And so uh, that, that's like a, a plus in my book, these, bo these boxes being built out of cedar. Now, this one, they don't come finished. And I would still recommend that they you have um, a finish, a paint on, on these things, or wax, but something on them. But, you know, the, the fact that they are cedar is really nice in my book. And when you get the box, you get, because it's unassembled, and that's the only way this is, comes, you get a really good 
description on, on how to assemble the hives. And it's pretty straightforward on that. Now, to begin with just their telescoping cover, very nice. Um, again, it's, it's a cedar board, cedar constructed, and then plywood on that, and then galvanized. For the for the metal top, so it is. That's pretty nice, nice telescoping cover, and you've got that joint right there for the the size. It's not just a butt joint, and like a ship joint, ship lap joint. Very nice little telescoping cover, inner cover as well, well built. Nothing wrong with that. Blue on. And the boxes themselves. Now, these, the joints on these, like we, I said earlier, these are a dovetail, dovetail joint, a full dovetail joint. So it's a great joint. The, it does make the assembly of this box very easy. It's almost foolproof to do it. You, you can only assemble it one way and it goes together very, very nice. The joints are cut very clean, and it does assemble very easily. And I used uh, a two-inch ring shank nail to put mine together with. Uh, it, it, that's just what I use. Um, there's all kinds of other nails you can use, but that's what I use to do it. And the frames, these are the frames. Now, their foundations, they don't tell you what kind of foundations they are other than it's food grade plastic. They do say that. But what you will find when you see these foundations, they do not have wax coatings on them. And it is important that we do put a wax coating on this for our V's to draw out that comb. So that they don't have wax coating on, on their foundations. They're brood boxes. Remember, you get two mediums or honey supers with this kit. You get the excluder, queen excluder. And then our brood boxes with, with all the frames. And again, the foundations do not have wax. They're not wax coated. So you need to wax coat these foundations. One thing I do notice on, on these, the handle grips, they're sufficient, but they are small. They are small, but they will work. They will work. And the bottom, the bottom board, which comes with a entrance reducer. The bottom board is again cedar with a piece of plywood in it, a piece of three-quarter inch plywood. Now I don't know about you know how that that part is. I, I prefer solid wood for my bottom boards uh, when I build them like that but plywood it'll work. It'll hold. It'll hold out for a while. That is the Beagle hive. And with that one, since it's on Amazon, if you're Amazon Prime, it, it does have free shipping on that one. And for, for that hive, unassembled, because that's the only way you're going to get it, it's $172. Um, and it's got all that stuff in it, but it does have to, you do have to, um, to build it. I did forget to mention, too, on the, on the Busy Bee one, there is a $9 flat shipping rate on, on that one as well. And here is our next hive that we're going to be looking at. And I'm telling you, this is a beauty. It really is. Uh, and what's so noticeable about the, the Hoover hives is the finish on, on, these, on these boxes. And you can, again, get these boxes unassembled or assembled. But the covering on them, they use a beeswax coating on them. It's not paint, it's beeswax. Now, I will tell you, it's, it's a covering. They, they dip the, the boxes, all the parts, 
in beeswax, but it's unlike a wax dipping where they cook paraffin into the wax. So this is just a covering. The wax doesn't permeate into the wood itself. It's just on the outside. So you need to make that distinction. Um, but still, it's very, very, very nice finish on these and uh, nice waxy feel to these things. Very, very appealing to the eye and to the hand. So, let me show you what you get in this one. Well, first thing you get, a little hive reducer. You can close off your hive that way or reduce it this way. They also have an uh, entrance reducer on that as well. And you get a nice bag of nails to assemble your, your bodies with. So that's, oh yes, and a instruction kit as well. Of course, our telescoping cover, very nice. Man, everything is, look how pretty, even the inside of that cover. So the other ones had uh, plot Luon in their plywood, and this is solid wood, all of this solid wood, very nice. Very nice, but it feels heavy, heavy. The inner cover, again, wax coated. Wax coated. All of this. This is all wax coated. All of this is beeswax coated. And then down into our boxes. First thing you notice is the dovetail construction on, on the box. And again, because these are unassembled. This one was a little bit hard, harder to assemble because I had to clean out all of the joints because there's so much wax in there. When you're trying to assemble it, it just it's it's too much. It 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 closes the joint up too much, and you don't get good uh, closure with your joints. So you have to clean all the wax off the joints. In other words, to 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 be able to get the boxes to come together. But clean off the wax, and they go right together. Really simple. And these, I just, again, use that two-inch ring shank galvanized nail to assemble mine. I didn't use the nails that they provided. I like my, my ring shank nails because it, it grips a little bit better, in my opinion. Their frames, very nice frames. They're pine frames, uh, and they use the Celtec foundation on, on there as well. And these are all coated with, with beeswax as well. Very nice. This is really a really great option right here. It also has your excluder and again your frames, that Celtec foundation, and all of it is covered with beeswax. And I'll get down to the bottom and show you their bottom, a solid bottom board and it's solid wood and it's all beeswax coated. Man, this is really, really, really nice. A very nice, pretty, <laughs> very, very pretty box to look at. So what are you going to pay for this really, really pretty nice looking box? That's what everybody would be thinking. No, I would be. So again, it's sold by Galena Farms, just like the Busy Bee one sold by Galena Farms. And this one, just like the Busy Bee, has a $9 flat shipping rate on, on this one as well. And if you buy the hive the way that I got it, unassembled, it's $199. And if you buy it fully assembled, it's $279. All right, so I got one more thing to show you about the, the pure um, boxes. It's not a kit. But there's something about this one that I want to show you about. Now this, this hive body made by uh, Pura, it's uh, the premier bee supply builds this thing. They don't offer this box in, in a beginner's kit. However, I want to include this in this comparison primarily because the way they build their boxes. Um, what I was interested in when I first started this thing was uh, construction of boxes. And, and I wanted to show the, the difference between the dovetail and the finger joint. And the Pura Hives, they've come out with almost a cabinet grade joinery. 
And then I, like I've talked of before, that half blind, half blind dovetail. And it's just such a, a really great, strong joint. And I, I, I've already talked about the good things, the qualities of it. But it, it's just a, a really great design of a box for, for joinery of a bee box or any box. And, and as, as, a, as a woodworker, it really does appeal to me. But some of the other features that are really nice on these boxes, um, their handles, they're larger than most of them. They're almost an inch larger. And there's their design is that it comes smooth from the bottom up to the top, whereas the other ones are, are like backwards to this one. And also their corners, because the way they do their frame rests, you have in this area right here, you have a full width of wood right in there. So you have less chance of damaging your, your corners right here. And so that's another really nice feature about these boxes. As well as they're, they're built out of um, eastern white pine, really good grade of wood. Now these, this company is a fledgling company. They, they may have been um, open for maybe only about five years they've been doing this. And they started out building frames. And that's, that's another thing that I wanted to talk to you about. Because earlier I talked about um, frames. And so I want to do a little comparison on frames because not all frames are the same. And the uh, frames that Premier builds are quite noticeable from the frames that I showed you earlier. And just from beginning, you can see that that the width of that top bar is slightly wider than that, as well as, let me show you this. The length is also a tiny bit, the length is also a tiny bit longer. Now here is a top bar from one of those other frames. And like I said, these, these frames all had to be made by the same manufacturer. They use, it is uh, white pine, but the grade of material is not as good as the grade of material that these people use, that, that Premier use. And look, you can see right away a difference in the thickness of the top bar. Let's see if I can get that on there to show you. If I flush it up to the back, if I flush it up to the back of the top bar, you can see that it's almost, well, it's better than a sixteenth of an inch wider than this one right here, and it goes for the bottom bar as well. And so what that does, it gives you a tighter fit. Your foundation gives you a tighter fit. And that's the other thing about Premier, because they, like I said, they got into the market with frames, building frames and foundations, and they have a very unique system of their foundations. All they they come up with a cell design, a pattern for the cell design where it's more efficient, and they they're what is really um, good about these frames is that all of these frames they coat them with wax with the uh, wax from the cappings um, instead of just like old brood comb or just any general wax. They use wax cappings and I think it came from, comes from um, the Myers company that they sell them the cappings that they then render and spray onto these frames. So the frames are really good. There is a difference in frames just like there's a difference in box construction. And Premier does sell um, boxes and they are going to get into the production of of hot parts as well telescoping covers inner covers bottom boards they are going to get into that as well but like I said they're still fledgling and they they haven't um, arrived at that point yet but they do sell um, boxes with frames let's see they sell a deep unpainted super with 10 frames in it for sixty seven dollars or if you just want to buy a box, it's 
uh, $25, and that's unassembled. And the the quality of this, this of these boxes, it's 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 almost like craftsman style stuff. I mean, they really they really do a great job on on the joinery on this stuff, as well as their their detail to features on this. So that's about all I have for all of these things. I certainly hope that the material that I presented will help particularly beginning new beekeepers in making an informed choice when they choose to decide to, to, to purchase a beginner's beehot kit. Uh, I've given three options here that are pretty much diverse. There's different choices that you can choose from, but primarily I want to inform you there's a lot of choices you can make and though these three that I presented here are just a small amount of them at least I think they can get you started into thinking on how you want to proceed in purchasing your first beehive and as far as the um, older beekeepers people who have been beekeeping for years there's also the idea of showing you that there there are products out there um, that that can help you as well and I will include in the description of the video links to all of these companies uh, websites where you can then go to them and invest, investigate further on your own because I'm sure that if you go look for yourself you'll be able to find a lot more information than what I presented so I have to really thank all the companies that that helped make this video uh, possible. Premier Bees uh, for supplying the Pura, um, uh, Galena Farms for supplying the, the Hoover hives as well as the Busy Bee hives and for um, Vivor for supplying the, the this hive right here. So that's about all I have on you th for this one. So thanks for watching. Keep on watching and I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Red, I'm out of here and Merry Christmas. And Happy New Year to y'all. God bless. Bye-bye.